Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'm going to walk y'all through my recipe for a very easy to make fig jam or fig preserves depending on how smooth you like it. If you have a fig tree dumping figs or you impulse bought a couple pounds of figs in your last grocery run, this recipe is for you because it takes very little time, very few ingredients, and you end up with something that is absolutely delicious. So let's get started. Like I said, this recipe calls for very few ingredients. Everything pictured is all you need. The main ingredients will be two pounds of ripe figs with their stems cut off and then cut into small chunks. I cut mine into quarters and then cut those quarters in half, so they're eighths, I guess. If you're planning on making a smooth jam-like consistency, there's additional steps that I'll walk you through later on. But if you prefer a rustic, chunky style preserves, cut your figs into the pieces that are the same size you want them to be in the finished product. Once all the prep work is done, let's head over to the range to start cooking. In a medium pot set to medium heat, toss in your figs. Next, add half a cup of sugar, the juice from one lemon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna continuously stir everything until the sugar is completely dissolved and the figs have softened. It's important to keep everything moving so that you don't burn the sugar on the bottom of your pot. Burnt sugar does not taste good. Once your pot looks a little like this, where the figs have softened up and the sugar is dissolved into a runny looking jam, you're all set for the final ingredient, a half cup of water. After adding the water, drop your heat until the mixture is at a low simmer. We're gonna let this simmer somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes until it's reduced considerably and resembles a nice, thick jam consistency. Stir occasionally as to ensure everything is cooked evenly, as well as to avoid any chance of burning the sugar. It's a low simmer though, so you don't have to be constantly moving it, just keep a close eye on things. Now I mentioned at the beginning that we're making fig jam or fig preserves, and the main difference between the two is really just consistency. If you like a little chunk in yours, you're technically making fig preserves, and no further tinkering is required besides cooking it down. If you prefer a smoother texture, you're making fig jam. And you'll need to either use a potato masher or a hand mixer to further smush and blend the fig pieces to your preferred consistency. Personally, I prefer the more rustic preserve style texture, so we're sticking with this for the rest of the video. It's been about 20 minutes of simmering and I'm happy with where our consistency is. This is really what you're looking for. It's not runny, it's sticking together, it's slow creeping off that spoon, and the fig pieces are super soft so they'll easily spread with a knife. It's important to note that after this has cooled a bit, it will thicken up a good deal. So don't be waiting for a perfectly solid finished jam-like texture, this is where you wanna stop. Now we just need to spoon the still hot mixture into a sanitized quart mason jar. This recipe yields a very full quart sized jar, plus a little bonus bit that I ended up putting in a smaller one. Let your jars cool down to room temperature on your counter, then store them in your refrigerator where they'll stay good for up to two months, although I've never made it that long before eating every bit of this. Also, yes, you can always look into canning these preserves to make them shelf stable, but that's just something I don't have a great deal of expertise on, which is why I stick with the fridge. Feel free to leave some advice in the comments below for our viewers if you have any guidance on that method to share. Now that the jars have cooled off, it's time to dig in and give this batch a taste. And man, this stuff is just ridiculous. I can and have eaten this stuff straight out of the jar with a spoon. Yes, half a cup of sugar seems like a lot, but compared to other recipes out there, I actually pulled back a good deal on the sweetness level. The figs and their wonderful natural flavors are front and center, as they should be. And they're given just a nudge of sweetness thanks to the sugar, but it's really not overbearing. Finally, there's a faint vanilla flavor from the extract that barely registers, but it really rounds things out just perfectly. It's overall just a really, really good recipe, and I highly recommend making this if you get your hands on some figs. That'll do it for this one, and thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or tips of your own to add, please feel free to leave a comment below. I always try to make myself available to my viewers and I'm happy to tackle whatever comments pop up. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate if you considered hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, it certainly helps to keep me going, and you'll have access to countless recipes with more great content to come. Alright y'all, take care.